Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back. We have zero trophies out of 15 drafts. I I'm not even, <clears throat> I don't even mind. It's frustrating, but it's not a, it's not like a huge deal. We have a couple stipulations in the queue. You got to draft any card that's been banned or restricted in any format before. So since nothing is in this pack that was banned or restricted, uh, I think we're going to we're gonna pass on that one. I, I like to I like to actually have the cards necessary for uh, the stipulation. Uh, must take any card in the pack that generates tokens or utilizes tokens. Uh, batter skull, but I don't think that's really the same. You must draft a multicolor card if they're able. There are some multicolors you can draft any card. Let's or super friends. Super friends is also pretty good. Let's just do Super Friends here. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I said add. add. Oh. I'll just not even be able to pick a card. Uh, it's either this guy or this guy. I think Vraska's probably a little better. Well, then you get an Elspeth. I also get a Garrick. I like Elspeth here. More than I like Garrick, because Elspeth makes lots of tokens to sacrifice. I think she's also just a stronger Planeswalker. And Abzan puts us in a pretty good... A pretty good Planeswalkery uh, area. Uh, Council's Judgment is just very, very good. Chambling Vent also good. But I think this is one of the best removal spells in the format. Vivian Reed. And hopefully the Savannah comes back. I'm going to take the Viv. Uh, oh, two lands that I like. Pernicious Deed actually seems great if we're going Super Friends, right? Let's just take Pernicious Deed. <coughs> Hopefully this uh, clears up just a little bit today. Swords to Plowshares also seems great. I don't think we're Kozilekking here. Yeah, Deed is amazing. I agree. It kills everything but your Super Friends. All your friends get to live. Kithian is kind of a planeswalker. Oh man, where is Pernicious Dude? That guy's... Any plan to play in a requalifier? Not really. I just don't care about events like that, to be honest with you. I am considering starting... Uh... Unbarrel Rights is interesting. Resto is pretty good. I would take Banishing Life if I have Council's Judgment. I think we want Resto. I am considering doing my own tournament, if that's if something that might interest you guys. I'll take a Liliana. Um, I, I was thinking of calling it the Quarren Tournament, for all you people quarantined. Um, in, in theory, it would be $5 to enter. $2 would go into the pro, the, uh, into uh, uh, a, a coronavirus relief fund. So every $2, $2 of every entry goes <clears throat> gets donated. And three dollars would go into like the prize pool, or we can do three three dollars into the into the relief fund and two dollars into the prize pool, whatever people would want. And uh, ideally, we could also get like oh, a Gideon comes back. Ideally, we could also get like some sponsors and things. All right, so we already have one, two, three. We have five super friends. This is a very friendly draft. Oh, I like Murderous Rider and I like Hero of Bladehold here. I think Murderous Rider is probably better. 
50 50 split is worse for me because it's like 250 and 250 which is just not as elegant of numbers right like but i mean i guess it's possible i was just trying to do whole dollar amounts because i think that's uh it's either this or it's hero i think it's murderous rider i think it's just a more versatile card <laughs> oh chad that's good times Oh, the shambling vent came back. Oh man, come on, Savannah. I don't know if it was this pack or not. I think it, I think it might have been. What was that pop? That's the noise that Magic Online makes now. Avacyn seems good. And there's a lot of angels we're getting, too. <coughs> Double queuing? What does that even mean? Oh, Black Lotus. Oh, man. If Overgrown or Windswept come back, that'd be great. But, I mean, we're just taking Lotus here. Let's be real. Angels can be friends. That's true. Angels can be friends. Sorry, guys. There were no super friends. Yeah, well, power is usually an exception. Um, I like a Gideon here. We're gonna we're gonna put lands pretty high here. I mean, it's either Gideon, Gideon or Liliana. I think we have enough five mana planeswalkers. I think Gideon's probably just better. Although Gideon without a ton of creatures is not great. Like neither of these super friends are that great. But this pack also isn't that great. Like, I, the only things I would consider are, like, these three five drops. So I'd almost rather have just the three... The three drop here. Oh, balance seems interesting. I mean, I could see Liliana wheeling, too. I think the eyes an argument for both. <coughs> yes. Ellie, this is a Super Friends stipulation. Also, Sun Titan seems decent. We have Liliana, Gideon, Murder Shrider, Pernicious Deed. I'm going to take Balance because I think being able to wipe the board of... Oh, I like a Ravenous Chupacabra. I also like Blinking with a Resto. I wish some of these lands were in our color, but... I'll take a big Chups. <coughs> I like Tristani. I like... Ophiomancer is probably pretty good. It gives us some decent blocks here. Oh, this Gideon's good, too. Again, no lands on our colors. Really hoping for that Overgrown Tomb to come back, because...
Lands do seem to be much harder to get. I've noticed this for almost every single draft I've done. And sometimes it's not even because they don't table. Sometimes it's just because I don't see them. I'm just like, well, there's... I haven't seen this. Like, I'll be, I played a blue-white deck with, like, one... With, like, a Seacrom Coast, maybe. Or, like, a, a blue... The blue-red deck I played yesterday had literally zero blue-red lands. <clears throat> it's very weird. And I have no idea what to even attribute it to. Oh, that's interesting. Thragtus seems good with the rest. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I apologize for for dying. Um, Blade Splicer seems okay. Phyrexian Revoker seems alright. Mesmeric Fiend, eh. <clears throat> oh, we got that Swaggy Bay. And we got that Resto. Girl, you know you like that. I'll take this Revoker, I guess. Oh, the Overgrown Tomb came back. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so pumped. If you want to note, if, if you want Frank to notice you, all you have to do is say the words Super and Friends in the same sentence. Is that true? Is either Tide Taker or Stone Call Serpent? I think Stone Call Serpent is just very, very good. Katie, my love, how are you? Is this our? Is this another six drop for our deck? Oh, let's mana tide some dudes. Oh, Container Priest is really solid for the sideboard. Actually, if they want to be like, oh, but I put a Gristle Brand into play, I'm gonna be like, <clears throat> nah, don't don't do it. Sometimes you gotta go for the Gotems. I'll take Stomping Ground just in case. Wow. Look at that guy. Oh, a Mox Pearl? Is that an on color Mox Areno? Hopefully Vindicate comes back, but I don't think so. <laughs> <coughs> I feel like I'm coughing more today. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna take Mox Pearl. Two more records to do. I think it's malpractice for places to use handwritten records. Oh, God. That sounds absolutely miserable. Absolutely just miserable. Arid Mace is nice, but it can only get nothing right now. It can only get a Plains. Um, Natural Order is decent. Nissa who shakes the world is obviously great. I think we're just taking Nissa here, right? We can put the Avacyn over here for now. We got Avacyn and Archangel in the sideboard just chilling. <clears throat> oh man, you should have seen the the conversation someone got into with me on YouTube comments about about Corona. Oh, Scrubland. Oh, it's a Scrubby boy. We have like no two drops in the deck. I would really love to take this Incubation Druid. I just think Scrubland is way more important with this double black, double white, double green, double green, double white, double double white, double double white, double white, double black, double black uh, deck that we're playing. Hey, Chad, if you go to your vet and they are handwriting the records, time for a new vet. <laughs> this has been Veterinary Tips with Katie. Oh, I like a Winds of Abandon. That's a nice one. I'll take it. I'm kind of, I'm kind of on, not on Mask Worm in the main deck. I like Cyborg and that guy in. I also don't love Liliana, I'll be honest with you. Oh, Blooming Marsh seems like what I want to be picking up and putting in my Decorino. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight friends so far. Eight super friends. What up, Midnight Meat? <clears throat> uh, go for the Thread is actually real nice as well. Animate Dead's kind of cool, but we don't... We have seven creatures. That's more than I thought. Resta with Chupa and Thrag Tusk is pretty good here. I don't think we have a friend's goal. Bulamog was just like super friends tip. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> so I was like, yeah, okay. Oh, Verdant Catacombs when we have Overgrown and Scrubland. Also a Kaya, but a Sarakaya comes in. Who's Sarakaya comes in? No, Sarakaya comes in. Just listen, I have to go soon. I just replied earlier to someone who tried to call you out for not doing the can attack step correctly. Dude, Dimitri, was that your reply? Because I was like, yes, thank you. I think I, I think I loved it. I think I hearted it. I was just like, dude, he's in the literal chat. He's in the literal chat. Like... He's like, I think they meant you have to attack with more lands. And I'm like, no, dude, I literally asked him. I said, you can't attack. Not being able to attack with anything is pretty hard. It means you can only do so many. He's like, all right, you can just attack with lands then. And I was like, okay, cool. That's a nice exception. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Chad, Chad, I saw that the other day. 
Oh, Josh, what's up, buddy? Josh, long time no see, my dude. This is what Chad just sent over. For those of you on the internet. And what are you gonna do? What do we got here? Stoneforge Mystic. Kind of wish we had the Batter Skull, I guess. Yeah, I don't think Stoneforge is very good here. Hangerback Walker is fine. We also have a stomping ground that we can get with a Verdant Catacomb for that Renin 6. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Guys, I swear any day now I'll stop coughing. Uh, oh, the Vindicate did come back? Wow. Talk about. Talk about. Let's talk about luck. Do you want someone to care about you? <clears throat> Face Fetters and Duress are both pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, let's take the Duress. I think it's the safer pick. Elvish Mystic? I don't think we're an Elvish Mystic deck. I'm not allowed to complain if work sucks because at least I have a job. I mean, you can still... Well, you can still complain. <coughs> we won't We won't hold it against you. Title of color? All right. Boy, I got a lot of... Got a lot of things to do. I actually don't hate a Vampire Nighthawk. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'll take this Flame Tongue Kavu. <sighs> Make a Tide Scholar. Raboker can go. Thraben Inspector. One of these can go. Brimaz can go. <clears throat> and I'm, honestly, we're going to take a Mana Tithe. My 16-year-old son, 16-hour-old son is sleeping so I can... Oh my god, Nick, congratulations, dude. Congrats on the little babe. Man, in a COVID-ravaged world, there's still some shining light. This deck looks sweet. What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 friends? That's a good amount. All right, what do we got here? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? I like it. Okay. Black, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight as well. Three, four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's go seven, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is eight, seven, seven. <clears throat> Perfect. And we got a, a Lotus and a Mox Pearl, so... What else does Nissa do? She has an ultimate where you can search for any number of forests out of your deck. Uh, and then lands you control get indestructible. So, Just found the comment you were talking about with the coronavirus guy because you got distracted and holy crap, people like that. Yeah, it's 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 just unbelievable. Did you ever get shoulder drafted? Not yet, Chad. Not yet. I've been keeping my eyes peeled for her. You know that, like, <clears throat> I wish they, there, there's no noise anymore. Okay, cool. <laughs> there's no noise when there's a thing anymore. Usually it goes bing, it goes whoa. That was the old noise when the when you had a match come up, but now it doesn't make that noise anymore, so. You just kind of have to keep your eyes peeled, I guess. You know when you're coughing, like, when, it, when you're on the tail end of being sick and, like, you're, you're just at the last, like, the last coughs are coming out, right? But, like, they have to be deep coughs because you want to, like... Because you're trying to, like, push stuff up, right? Like, I don't... It's hard to explain. Like, there's... It's moist. Like, I don't say moist because it's a shitty word. But, like, they're, they're not dry coughs, right? They're wet coughs. And, like... <clears throat> like, you want to make sure you get that, like... You want to clear things out, I guess. It's hard to explain. Like, I'm not full of phlegm or anything. I'm not, like... You know. It's just... You know, it's just... <clears throat> it just feels like I have to keep clearing my throat. It's called a productive cough? Is that what it's called? Is that... Is that... Really? Is that true? Yeah, 
Yeah, there's been a bunch of times where like someone would name uh, Nissa who shakes time in the queue is zero. What's even going on? Uh, they would name like Nissa with like a pithing needle or like a sorcerer's spyglass or something. But your land still produce double, and you're like, all right, this is pretty good. A productive wet or chesty cough is when you have a, <clears throat> a cough that produces mucus or phlegm. You may feel congested and have a rattly or tight chest. Symptoms are often worse when waking up from sleep or when talking. Yes, that's true. The wet cough may be the last symptom left after a common cold infect. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's literally... Look, see, it joined... Yeah, the match started, but like... You have a match. There is no noise. Don't miss this one. I'm trying. I was just reading about my productive cough. Oh, my God. What is even happening here? What's even going on here? Wow. The wet cough may be the last symptom left after a common cold infection. That's amazing. It's just really validating because I was like, I know I'm at the end of this. It's been like a week and a half. I didn't miss it. There were seven seconds left. The lack of noise has everyone else messed up too. Yeah, it's really weird. Why would they take this off? So they can add like weird weird card flipping sound effects? I learned that from Dr. Fauci. <laughs> Chad, that's awesome, dude. That's amazing. All right, we did it. We're in a we're in a match. Uh, you know what? I'll keep this hand. Turn one hanger back and then we can start pumping it. Pump up the jams as it were. No, see, here's the thing. I can probably turn the the match noise back on. But then I have to have the card noises, right? Because I think they're both... I don't even know... See, here's the weird thing. Here's one of the weirdest parts about Magic Online. I have no idea if it's if it's alerts. So let me put alerts back up. Now alerts are back up, right? But then I get these noises. That's not an alert. Why do I need an alert that I click to go into my main phase? I don't need to be alerted of that. <coughs> oh, I got nothing but productive coughs from here on out. See, look, now it's just every single thing is just like a bing, bing, bing. It's just mono bings from here on out, you know what I mean? I want to put a counter on this now because if they have any sort of removal, they can uh, hit this in response to us putting a counter on it. Is in here a sterile salt water that helps you clear? Is that is that true? Man, you guys are like you guys are like doctors. I expect Katie to tell me this kind of stuff, but she just confirmed it after after it was mentioned in chat. She hasn't even talked to me about my my productive coughs, which is kind of yeah, you know, it's a little disappointing. I'll be honest. Katie, my love, listen. You have to you have to talk to me more about my productive coughs and my sputum. <laughs> I'm a sandwich doctor. I don't need to doctor explain you. Yes, you do though. I want that. I want to know all about all about the sputums. Remember that time we didn't draw any lands other than one land? That was a cool time. I'm actually gonna... No one wants to talk about your sputter. <laughs> That's rude. You're being rude. Well, I've missed three land drops so far. For a productive cough form mucus forms in the respiratory tracts to expel microbes. Man, that's amazing. Oh wow. They're like, dude, you got one mana, I don't even care. I'll play this thing. <laughs> that's what are you going to do? Nothing. Doctor says, quit chewing on your fingers. That's how you get germs in your mouth. <laughs> oh, damn it. No, sir. I don't like it. Well, now I have three mana that I still can't take advantage of. This is, this is ridiculous, dude. <clears throat> Fingies, that's how you get germs in your mouth. Wow. Wow. 
Listen, Jeffrey. Just remove all your skin. That's where the germs are. Oh, that's not actually the worst idea. This is fascinating. I think we're dead because, you know, we don't have any lands. So that's cool. I'll get rid of a Thrag Tusk. <clears throat> what if, and bear with me, my fingers are delicious. <clears throat> it's because you turn the alert noises on. Yeah, no, I know it, man. That's a curse. <clears throat> God, listen to this. Oh, this is, I see what they did here. That's cute. I'm going to play Thunder Maw Hellkite, so get wrecked, nerd. Ha ha ha. It's important the lizard people take off all their human suits and wash their scales thoroughly to avoid contamination. That sounds correct. What are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna counter this? I'll remand it. Cool. Give me a swamp so I can just make you sacrifice this idiot. Are you serious? Six turns and I can't draw one fucking land? God, give me a break, dude. Oh! Yeah, these noises are going. They're not good. Why wouldn't that, like, that noise be under general? What's the difference between general and alerts? I don't know, man. I'm just going to submit. I think our deck is fine. Oh, I wanted to add a land. Um... Yeah, let's add one swamp. I think 16 lands with a lotus and a mox is fine, especially when we have, like, really intensive mana requirements. MTGO is a flaming butthole. I said it. It's eight super friends. Thank you very much. Rude. Lotus. No Lotus. Spot him. Hey, big fan. Oh, so that's why... You... <clears throat> it's all making sense now. Here we go. No white sources. This is good. It's all... Uh... Yep. 
Come on, Black Lotus. So we can play an Elspeth. Liliana. I think our mana base is good. We have eight to 18 sources of mana in the deck. But uh, it appears to be difficult to actually draw any of them. Where's a skull clamp when you need it? <coughs> Got my productive coughs gone. What are you gonna do? <coughs> what are the current memes in the chat? <laughs> Oh, Lord. You'll never know. I'll never tell. Have you heard about Sputum yet? That's true. We don't even have any seven drops in our deck. Ba -do 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 -do. Fucking Christ. This is exhausting. Wow, did it literally say this creature gets plus one, plus one for each? That's hilarious that it still, like, said that on there. Seems fine. What are you gonna do? Oh, Chupacabra, huh? That's good. It's all happening, guys. It's all happening. Can I also get a Chups? Nope. Double white card. Oh, yeah. Double white card. Yeah. Double white, 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 double white. Not a single fucking white. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, Katie told me a joke in chat, and I didn't laugh at it, but then she said, you didn't even laugh. And then I laughed at that, because that was really funny when she said <laughs> I was like, oh, that's pretty funny. Oh, God. I apologize to chat for teaching Frank about... Really? I'm really glad you did it. Yep. All right. Look at this. This creature gets plus one, plus one for each artifact you control. No, it don't. Oh, hey, guys. A white mana. Double black, double black. I guess we're still just not playing any of these cards. We're going to do this to the wind, wind wandering fumeral. 
Oh, yeah. Send you an accurate photo of your games. Let's see what they are. <laughs> yep, that's about right. <clears throat> that's that's about correct. Yep, that's my life. <clears throat> Come on, Sputum, get out. <clears throat> get out, Sputum. Oh, now they're not going to attack. That's sad. My teammates won't respond to me? Oh, little Michael B. Little Michael B. <clears throat> I muted MTGO, so MTGO muted my lands. But okay, so if I mute MTGO, I don't draw lands. And if I turn on the sounds, I don't draw lands. So, good lord, man. Just tell him it's your birthday, Michael. Guys, Elmo, it's my birthday. A green source. A fourth fucking green source. That's exactly what I wanted. How did they know? Oh, man. That's great. That's just... Chef's kiss, guys. Chef's kiss. Do you guys you guys don't watch this for the uh for the wins, right? You guys aren't like I only watch Frank cuz he wins. I I feel like you guys are, are are probably more uh more interested in the mana screws, right? Thank you. Watching you is always a win. Check, thank you so much. I appreciate the reset, buddy. <coughs> oh, this guy's getting this guy's getting toe up. <coughs> Got him. <coughs> Got him. Shimmering, shining, blizzled. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Yo, Frank, could your cough be allergy related? I just got over a cough due to allergy. No, I don't have any allergies. I'm not really Thank allergic you. to anything. I also had a cold for the past two weeks, so. Uh, no. <laughs> Definitely related to the cold that I've been experiencing for two whole... Oh, good. Yes. Yes. Excellent. A single removal spell. Yep. This is... This is torturous. If I was allergic to lands, I'd be fine. I feel like the problem is that, uh... Shut up and take my money. Oh. Five mana Curtis, thank you so much. I appreciate you, my dude. Five mana screw bucks is exactly what we need right now. Look at all these constructs. So now they have mana leak in their deck. I wasn't allergic to anything for the first 20 years of my life, and then I lo I moved to I loved to Denver, and suddenly every March I get a cop. That's weird. Do you know what the allergies are? Do you know what you're allergic to? Also, we got a we got our Cool Stuff Inc. shirt on, so if you guys haven't done so, check out CoolStuffInc.com. Every Wednesday, my dude, I had an article go up this week. <coughs> you guys like, you want to hear my sputum? You guys? Regional pollen. <coughs> I don't even know what that is. Oh my goodness gracious. That's exactly what I wanted. Give me that scrubby boy. Mana leak. He's got a mana leak. Elspeth resolved. That's real surprising. Oh god. I hope you didn't get an answer for this and I hope you don't have one. That's all I want. No answer and uh you know. Oh wow. I don't know what's happening right now. Are you ready for the Thunder Maw Hellkite? Chase the Mind Sculptor. Better than all. Chase the Mind Sculptor. Better than all. I mean, I'm, that guy's definitely getting... Uh, I'm definitely going to judge that guy.
No one wants to hear your sputum. It's bad enough to hear it when I'm working six. I'm gonna I'm gonna point out all your typos, guys. I'm working six. <coughs> you guys <coughs> I think you guys come for the drafts, but you stay for the sputum. That's my Oh yeah, Josh hates chewing noises. That's like his literal. Oh, how nice. I knew it was too good to be true. Does this guy do anything? An artifact in a graveyard and an artifact on the battlefield. Yeah, all right. In a graveyard? In a graveyard. That was interesting. I guess now they get to attack with Gonti, but... I can show you the world. <coughs> oh, maybe Frank shouldn't move to Denver. He might catch the allergies. You think so? Is that what you think? I'm going to vote for Jace. You can vote for Doretti if you'd like. Oh, they voted for Jace too. <coughs> I went to the outdoor and said I'm not really religious to anything either, but Flonase and Zyrtec get rid of my cough every March. It's weird. Maybe they didn't test you for the appropriate allergies. Maybe they suck. Did you ever think about that? God, don't have it. Just don't have the... Don't have the mana leak. May they not have it in the trench. Chupacabra kills Gonti. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Uh, one, two, we have four, five, six, seven, eight mana. <clears throat> winds of abandon here it just feels not great i'd like to get rid of this gaunty somehow i mean if we wins then attack the gaunty it's or not the, the duretti rather you're winning this match i don't know man i don't know no one to tell us no where to go i guess we're just like how long do we deal with this idiot is the question i guess <clears throat> I guess I'll chew a loop here. They have one card in hand, so that's kind of cool. Uh, they do have the... Yeah, they still do have the card they got with Gonti. Maybe there's four lands. Or they're just going to cast it now for, like, 17 mana. Oh, Jesus. What is this? Nine mana? It's a nine mana X spell? Are they just bane firing us for the win? Oh. <laughs> <sighs> 
I'm gonna add another land. <clears throat> That was a fun game. No, Snake would have been actually reasonable because we can deal with it. Um, it would have to be something that we can't deal with that's really ridiculous and just wins on the spot. So it had to be either like Banefire or Rectus to return. Two lands? You know what? I'll deal with it. Got all the colors at least. <clears throat> I swore I was watching on YouTube. Oh, wow, that's weird. You're not, buddy. This is real life. Welcome. Okay, now we're talking. Joke's on me, I'm not. Yeah, that's right, nerd. Wow, I can actually cast a Gideon on time. That's wild. Here comes a Dark Confidant. Bitter Blossom. That's pretty good. Probably going to vindicate that thing. <coughs> Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide. No escape from Chad Bradbury. Oh, good. I want to kill both of these things now. Hmm. I'll make it a 3-3. Three -three. Do that. Well, this is more problematic now. <coughs> we also can play Vraska to kill the Bitter Blossom, but I don't know if I love it. Open your eyes, look up to the sky and see. I'm just a poor boy. I need no sympathy. Cause it's Michael B. in the tree. Every day in the tree. Everywhere the wind blows and doesn't I mean if we can get another uh another land for this Vivian read, that'd be nice. Second green source would be great. Anywhere the wind blows doesn't even have you, <clears throat> have you tried replacing coughing with drawing lands? No. But boy, do I feel dumb not having to. Having done, having not done that. God, Mike B does, man, that dude does love his chicken nugs. Nug, 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 nugs. Five, five. Counter it. I dare you. Come at me, bro. Oh yeah. What you going to do about stone coil serpent, bro? Got that mono color removal? No, I didn't think so. <clears throat> oh, they remembered to got reach though. They were like, oh shoot, that snake's got reach. I got this Gidgen for you. Uh, let's go this guy. Do I want five life? Do I got five on it? <laughs> I, lifelink or Vigilance? Probably Vigilance here. Come at me, bro. If they had removal, they would have actually used it because then they could get to swing for two, so. <coughs> Go for the Throat seems real bad against both of these creatures. This guy's an artifact and this guy's indestructible. One is an artifact. The other is indestructible. Together, they're Gideon and the Snake. 
Chad and the Snake every weekday morning on WKYX. Mama just killed a man. Oh, that's that's violent. I like Vidge still. Vidge protects our planeswalkers. They got two cards. We got like 70 cards. Have a gun against his head. Roll the trigger now he's dead. Elspeth, everybody, do you have counterspell? You don't have counterspell. All right, well. Gonna super friend it up across the board. I do have 100% more cards. Quattro versus Durses, Durses Dose. He said Durses, and then he just kind of, I rolled with it. I was like, you know what? I said Durses. I'll own it. Michael B's upstairs and he wants to know if he should join the stream at round four. I'm concerned that there's going to be two people coughing every so often and it's going to be too much for the YouTube audience or even the stream audience. But, you know. Oh, fast bond. Gonna leave you all behind in face. Mike's. D okay, that's interesting. Lotus is the only card I'm excited about here. This has been an inter this is an interesting turn. Fast bond into time spiral. Good gravy. Mama. I didn't mean to make you cry. If Mike's not back again this time tomorrow. Michael B. Michael B. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I got two planeswalkers and a stone coil serpent. Where it's at? I got two planeswalkers and a stone coil serpent. Remember that? Remember that Beck song? Oh, yeah, I love... Yeah, the duress is really comforting. I'm like, let me look at your hand and see what you got. Why do I get the feeling they took a, a restoration angel here? It's a weird feeling, but that's what I'm thinking. Because I'm like, it goes well with this Gonti. You ready? Okay, something else. Five mana. This guy again? Why do you have two black floating? <clears throat> That's weird. Gonna leave you all behind in faith and faith. Michael B's in the chat right now. He's Omaclo. So you can you can wish him a happy birthday yourself. Guys in the chat right now, could you wish Michael B a happy birthday so he can read it? He's at work and he's probably sad that no one's wished him a happy birthday yet. So if you guys want to wish him the happiest of birthdays, I think he'd really appreciate it. How is Bobby formed? Oh, him to Tark. You got a Tassigar and a freaking Inkwell Leviathan? Get out of my house. I heat up. I can't slow down. Abracadabra. I want to reach out and grab you. <clears throat> oh, 
All right, you're going at Oko, <clears throat> and then you're going at Oko, and you're going to face. Oh, we're just we're, you're just going to lose the game. All right. Well, I appreciate the 15 cards. Uh, he see. I feel like we, I feel like we do a lot better in the games when we draw our mana. It's really interesting. Sometimes I'll have mana and I'll be like, "Wow, I'm actually playing my spells and I feel really good about this game." It's pretty. It's pretty wild. I was gonna bring in Frexian Revoker for the, uh, for the for the. I don't have a ton of creatures though. Um, they do have. We did see Oko and. kind of like mana tide i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna take out balance for mana tide they don't have a ton of creatures and we already have winds of abandon you know what this is, this is all right that is okay i'll keep it <coughs> oh do 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 yep all right you got it Look at me. I'm in tatters. It's a stone cold serpent? Man, that guy must have been giving him a fright. That's Mike's secret. He shares his birthday with everyone's nephew. <clears throat> if this hangerback walker gets big enough this Veraska with the hangerback could be very good sack the hangerback sack a token 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 you know etc etc swords to plowshares get larger That is Mike's secret. It's always his birth birthday. Is it Tassiger? This feels like a Tassiger. Four, five, exile one of these. Mind twist for four. Super cool. I'm having a good time. love it guys remember when I said I was having a good time just to be clear that was sarcasm jokes on you I can't rust out my hanger back because uh I don't have any cards in hand How many, uh, like, non-basics did I draft? Like, six? Verdant Catacombs, Overgrown, Shambling Vent, Scrubland, Blossoming Marsh. Like, we have at least five dual lands in the deck. And, like, we're drawing, like, three basics when we have double black, double white. Like, we also have a Black Lotus in the deck, which we have yet to draw at, at a turn, other than, like, late game time spiral. Sure. You, uh, you know what? I'll play it out, because, like, if we draw a black source for this guy, we can kill it. But it doesn't feel good. <coughs> this is hilarious because, like, if we crack this for black, which we need for Murderous Rider, we can't actually do anything else with it. I guess we can just cast the Murderous Rider. I heat up and can't slow down. Is that Garrett good though? Yeah, you know it's not bad. It's not bad. You know, I had, I, people ask me that question a lot. You know, it, it turns out he's not bad. They go to seven after cracking Misty. You know what? I'm glad we didn't concede because I think we're actually not terrible. You know what I mean? Not terrible. Oh, okay, sure. 
Why don't you hear us now from my, my, my hangerback walker? Keep singing that abracadabra. Abracadabra. This is because you did your super friend step. I was like, you know what? I'm also going to sing some Steve Miller band that you might enjoy. Oh, yeah. Five drop, baby. Five drop, baby. I mean, I think we just keep this back now because, like, us taking all this damage is worse, so. Oh, yeah. Untap that monolith, boy. You know what would be great? Uh, if we had this thing called uh, mana. Mana. It's only turn eight, though. It's only. I, I mean, I understand why we only drew three lands, because it's turn eight. So, like, it makes sense. <clears throat> also, I hope you guys know... We're just joking. We're just having a good time. Abracadabra. Oh, we did draw four lands. I guess that's true. I guess you got me there. We did draw four lands. They didn't, they didn't think it was worth it to get in there for an extra two. Ophiomancer. Oh, Chupacabra. That's close. Double black card, one three lands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if they attack with everything, we take uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, gonna scoop because that's just how you do. <coughs> and this is why I brought it in Mana Tithe because, like, I mean, maybe balance is decent against them because they go a little bit wide, but <laughs> also... <laughs> <laughs> With the amount of lands we've been drawing, <clears throat> maybe. Maybe we just leave the balance in. And we already have Pernicious Deed that does a similar thing as balance, but... I'm going to take the Nissa out. I don't think Nissa's actually that great in our deck, but... Also, Massacre Room could be good, but Jesus Christ, six mana. <laughs> Who's got the time? <laughs> Jesus, three white cards, not a single friggin' white mana. Like... Is it, is it me? Am I going crazy? Is this not? It's just like, oh, this is normal. This is totally normal. Like, sure. I just don't get it. Like, it's super weird. The mana isn't this bad. I agree with you. <clears throat> That's why I don't understand. Like, I'm like, is it is my mana base just terrible? And it's just not really. Like, I don't understand. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. Just play it. Play that dude. But like, how many matches and games can my can my mana be this bad? Can my hands be like still nothing more than like. Like this is wild, man. This is where they this is where they mind twist us for three again. Fucking ridiculous. It's the same hand over and over. I've had Chupacabra, Swords, the Plowshares, and Vivian Reed in every fucking hand. And these same three lands. Like, never more than three lands. And it's unbelievable. Like, <clears throat> like I seriously don't think this deck is that bad. But, like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I guess we have consistency going for us. For whatever good that does. Yep, there's an Oko again. If only I kept the Vindicate instead of the Swords, but... Thankfully, Mind Twist is nice and random. Oh, you just gave me a 6-6? Six, six? That's fucking awesome. Thank you. Are we just gonna win here because we get to slam Vivian Reed? And, like, start coming back? <laughs> this is actually comical if this happens.
Wow. Sure. Okie dokie. <clears throat> You really gotta stop calling the bad things that can happen to you. You're too yeah, I know. It's just it's it's shocking. It's basically like I just call it and that's what happens. I'm writing my own I feel like I'm writing my own story. Like I've I've kind of broken through the simulation. Oh, a time walk. That's good. That's nice. I mean that's basically that just explore with like actually this without the extra land drop, I guess. Oh wow, and they do nothing on their extra turn as well. That's nice. Uh, <clears throat> Stone Coil Serpent seems pretty decent here. Mana Leak? Yes, six cards. Oh, okay, you did not counter that. Okay, second, second, there you go. <coughs> it's like practicing your signature in Death Note. That's pretty hilarious. All right, let's do it. Oh, Murderous Rider. Okay. We'll just keep getting these cards that are that do things. Wow, are we really coming back after the mind twist for th three? Knocking our entire hand out? Gaunty, huh? Okie dokie. I heat up. I can't slow down. Assuming they ever want to play Time Spiral, I kind of just want to empty my hand for the things that I can as fast as possible. Uh, one, two, three. Ophiomancer. And you. I should have kept the white up for the swords, but... Because <coughs> if we draw like Elspeth, <coughs> or if we want to play Council of Judgment, we can't do both. Vivian's ultimate is 8 mana. You get an emblem with creatures you control. Get plus 2, plus 2, Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible. So. Hashtag two snakes. <clears throat> oh, wait, where are my snakes? Oh, if you control no snakes... Oh, that's hilarious. We only have we have a snake, so we can't make a snake. Oh, that's actually pretty funny. Uh there's a alright, so we're just actually hitting lands with Vivian here, unfortunately. <clears throat> I mean if they have like Venser and they want to bounce anything. Hero's downfall. Okay. Well now we get snakes again. Oh yeah, give me that snake. <coughs> the snakes are back in town. <clears throat> yeah, the problem is our deck just doesn't have a ton of creatures. It has way more planeswalkers, so. That's a good one. Good for you. Um, we have enough mana to do everything on this turn. We'll see what we draw. Oh, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. <coughs> this guy. <coughs> yep. All right. So we're just going to look at the top three again. And now we have Vivian's ultimate online. Um, no, they double block. That seems silly. 
You just get the ultimate Vivian next turn if they don't do anything. Wow, I can't believe we came back in this game. Black Lotus is a hell of a magic card. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. <clears throat> Wish I had another white up here so I could mana tithe. But I don't know what they could actually hit here that would actually help them, so... This is why we wanted to empty our hand as much as we could, because we figured Time Spiral was coming eventually. Wow. Alright. Seems good, my dudes. We have enough mana to cast everything in our hand right now. <clears throat> I mean, except Thragtus, but we're able to... The color requirements are not an issue here, is, is what I'm getting at. Your opponent's deck was bad? It didn't seem terrible. <clears throat> I mean, they had Oko, Mind Twist, Time Spiral, uh, Time Walk. Like, I think their deck was actually fine. Frost Titan, Sower, Angel of Sanctions, and a Preordain with one land. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. I guess they did go to six. So two lands Preordain is actually pretty decent on six. That's gone. I mean, basically, I'm tempted to just hit their white source right now. Because, like, we know they're drawing, like, they're just trying to hit lands here. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. <clears throat> I want to reach out and grab you. Oh, I think we're I think we're doing it. Let's actually play Gideon because it goes a lot better. They have Sower. So. Gideon's a lot stronger when they're when they're threatening a creature. <coughs> Banishing light. Actually, it's Oblivion Ring. <laughs> Got it. These productive coughs are... <clears throat> there's something rewarding about them. Because, like, when you're done with the productive cough, like, you can feel how... It's, it, there's, like, a satisfying feeling where you're like, yeah, I got something there. Let's get in there. I feel killing that planes was actually the right play here, which is very... Not often the, the correct thing to do. <clears throat> We're going to play this, because if they waste their turn just using... Um, Sower of Temptation on this. We just get the Winds of Abandon or Council's Judgment, which is fine. They don't seem pretty. Get a job, coughs. That's true. Oh, Mox Ruby into Solemn Simulacrum. All right. 
This is when it dies. So we could exile it, theoretically, and attack for a million. Abracadabra. I heat up. I'll exile this guy. What is this, 11? They go to 2? I didn't want to give them another land because we know they have Frost Titan in hand. So, um, if they want to play Angel, we can win that guy, get our guy back, and attack for lethal. Yep. <clears throat> you think this one is going to do anything? This is interesting. I mean, if they have like a Swords to Plowshares or something, it's pretty good because then they gain the life and they get the token. Uh, looks. Oh, okay. Just Avacyn's Pilgrim. So if we draw a land. Yeah, that's, that's good too. Abracadabra. <coughs> get him. Can I just get him? We can get him. They've been... Um, what did we see? We saw Frost Titan, Angel of Sanctions... Sower of Temptation. Condemn actually seems pretty decent here. I don't think this is going to be good in our deck. I think with all those creatures, like, Condemn is actually pretty decent. I also don't think Tide Hollow Skuller is actually that bad. We just get, like, they don't seem to have, like they have that much removal for a Tide Hollow Skuller. Because you already have Swords, Balance, Winds, Council's Judgment, Liliana, Murderous Rider, Go for the Throat, Vindicate, Ravenous Chupacabra, Veraska. We have a ton of removal. Vivian Reed for Sower and Angel. Your deck has nice curves. Got him. Okay, well, let's see if we can hit a black source in the first two turns. Are you ready? Oh, and oh, Lanowar Elf, huh? You think, I bet you. Oh, you think you fancy? That's not it. What you gonna do? What you gonna do with all that junk? <clears throat> Hey, Mr. Scott, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Make a dreams come true. Black source? Oh, we did it. Talk about 
Talk about living the dream. You have three lands and an Avacyn's Pilgrim? What in the shit? Get yourself together. <coughs> the mana's way better than I expected it to be. Yeah. The games don't indicate that, though. That's for sure. I like this rest day because you can blink this Tide Hollow Skullar when this, uh... When this, uh... This Avacyn's Pilgrim is no longer... Stone Cold Serpent blocks everything pretty well, to be honest with you. It's a very good blocker. No blocks. Lumbering Falls. L oh, Ophiomancer. Love it. That was a perfect draw. <coughs> that episode is cringy in like the sad sense. It's like, oh God. It's like it makes you feel bad. You're like, oh, no, It's I guess it's just super cringe. It's real hard to watch. And then Stanley's like, oh my God, has it been 10 years already? <coughs> let me let you know a little secret, Ray. Kmart sucks, okay? Yeah, gotta go to Kmart. Yeah, definitely, definitely Kmart. Yeah, macaroni and cheese on Thursdays. Yeah. Yeah, macaroni and cheese. Gotta go to Kmart. What you gonna do? <coughs> Stanley's joy at the whole situation. Yeah. Stanley. <laughs> what are Scott's tots? And then Stanley just loses it. And you're like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, colonnade. Colonnade. It feels so nice. Same colonnade. Man, Ophiomancer making snakes every turn against the Bant deck is pretty nice. If you blink the snake, you get another snake. It's true. It, God, that's really that's a pro play right there. I'm just going to sack this forest. You ready? I'm ready. I was born ready. Yep. Did you see that? Did you see? See how I said he was gonna do something? That's exactly what they did. <clears throat> oh wow! Look how big this this Knight of the Royal Knight of the Reliquary is. Knight of the Royal Reliquary. Get him! Oh, Angel of Sanctions, huh? What are you taking, my Ophiel Mancer? Oh man, shoot! I'm tempted to just bop this. Scoop it in a jumping in a bop do bop with a very. They have one. They have one extra card that we don't know about. With the very best thing of all, there's a Michael B. On the blues. I mean, this is this is a great swords target for one thing. And we can still play hanger back. Oh, I want my hanger back, hanger. We can also just play Stone Cold Serpent for four. Blocks everything pretty well. And we still have a snake here. I think that's probably better. I like that. <coughs> Blocks this dude and this dude. Right, right. Well, it doesn't attack as well because they can just double block it with these two. And then we get to kill one. But it's still a solid creature. 
ain't nobody gonna change my mind about that Okay, so we don't know the last card in your hand, but boy, do we care? Probably not. We don't want to Vivian read this because then they just replay it. But we could just Vivian read and, and actually plus, which I kind of like a lot. I ain't got no Really, you're going to whiff? What a biscuit. Yeah, this is also great against Celestial Colonnade, which is super nice. It's just a good card, man. a big that's a big night of the reliquary guys okay. <coughs> don't do me like that they have one card don't be a sower of temptation. <laughs> oh. Lovely. I mean, alright, they still don't have great attacks here. They can attack with Angel to Viv, which is fine. Oh, boy. They have no cards in hand. It's a plus. Oh, I guess they can attack with Colonnade now. That sucks. Yep, that's pretty bad. One, two, three, four. Untap. Well, no, because it's tapped. Never mind. They can't do that. They can attack with Lumbering Falls, I guess. I ain't got nobody. Well, no, I'll just block the Lumbering Falls with the stupid snake. Yeah, alright, this is not bad. Yeah, we go Vivian Reed, kill this. <clears throat> yeah, this is actually just fine. It's definitely been like three or four this, this draft, yeah. It definitely. Viv and Viv. Alright, we'll eat this land you got here. Vivian goes to three. Go for the throw would be great. Oh, they have no cards in hand, though. <sighs> Seems bad. How do we do this? What's the best way to do this? Yeah, I don't even think we use it here, to be honest with you. I think we can plus Vivian here. I'm not gonna. Dis I'm just gonna swords the the sower. Um. Yeah, we're gonna swords the sower and keep up resto. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Resto the Kiki Jiki. That seems good. And then during their draw step, we're going to you know, resto the Tide Hollow Sculler. Do 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 Trade a mox for an Avicen's Pilgrim. Okay. I mean, the thing is, they can just jam this into this and then, like, replay it to get the Stone Quail Serpent, which is pretty good. I guess we get our Ophiomancer back, which then blocks the knight forever. So, I don't know. I feel like we're kind of at parity here. But as long as, like, Vivian Reed is kind of our trump here, where, like, we're getting to draw an extra card every turn. The problem with Vivian is she does put a lot of Planeswalkers on the bottom. I do have a feeling we're going to draw a Chupacabra in the near future. Which is a feeling I get. Yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the holdup there was. It's, like, the only card you have, so. Oh, we just get to go. I don't like it. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty good. Um, oh, Murderous Rider. Oh, I love that this is a creature that we can just hit off of that. That's pretty cool. I'll name Angel of Sanctions. Yeah, that seems okay. Although we do have another snake, unfortunately. God, I hope they activate Colonnade here. I hope they think I forgot. Oh, he forgot about the Colonnade. <clears throat> no, he didn't. Do 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 do. <laughs> yep. How well does Resto block the Angel? I mean, they're three fours, so pretty well. Let's get down to business. Put this dude in the trash. But a little, little dude. All right. Well, if they ever can deal with our Stone Cold Serpent, we get a bunch of snakes. So, that's kind of cool. Yep, that's a phenomenal top deck. When you have exactly... Oh, wow, that's that's fantastic. Do they go back to their hand? Yeah, all right, that's pretty good. I guess they just get to kill Vivian. Seems good. Oh, actually, our balance is pretty insane here, right? They didn't kill Vivian Reed? What? 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have to balance other because if we kill this first, like I don't really want to. So we're just gonna discard this anyway, right? Like. I guess if we kill, like, they're left with this guy, right? Which is pretty bad. No, the snake doesn't die. They all go to the hand. So. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. We're going to have to sacrifice two lands, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and they have four. So I'm going to sacrifice both forests. Choose the four lands you control. One, two, three, four. Done. I'll take these guys back. I have no idea why you didn't kill Vivian Reed there. That's insane. Lee Greedy. Let's get rid of this Mox. Um, yeah, sure. We'll just make a 4-4. This guy seems hard to deal with. Wow. Glad we put the... Glad we kept and... Uh, Harmonize? Sure. Fascinating that they hit a bunch of spells there. Uh, Thrag Tusk seems very good here. I think we just play Murderous Rider, though. I really want to see what's in your hand. Oko Mirari's Waking Avenger. <clears throat> Let's take the Oko. So they have no cards they can play and they're dead on board, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Two, one. Bulamog, thanks so much for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hope that Super Friends tip actually lived up to expectations. And uh, I think it's kind of like we did too, because the other day we had a bunch that we were trying to do for you. But I didn't feel like we had enough Super Friends, even though there were like three Super Friends on the board at any given time. And uh, this one we had less super friends, but I feel like there was a relevant super friend in most matches, whether it was Elspeth, Gideon, or Vivian Reed. So uh, thanks, man. Really appreciate the support. If you guys want to have your own steps done, definitely check out the description below or my Twitch profile and uh, just hit me up and we can do it. And it's, it's a great time. It's a great way to support the channel. Check out manatraders.com. Great subscription service. Link and promo code down below for 20% off your first three months. You can hit, you can help me out at uh, patreon.com slash franklapore. Twitch.tv slash and uh, all those links and promo codes are down below. So be sure to check them out if you want to support the stream. And also, don't forget to slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.